So this is part two, the first date tips for the guys. What's up, dudes? Yes, uh, typically I don't make videos for guys, but we thought, why not? And I feel like a lot of girls will watch this too. We made this other video on some dating tips for girls, and yes. we thought, why not tell about the bros? Tip number one, don't be late. It's okay, I guess, if a girl is late at times, because she's, you know, <laughs> getting ready, doing her thing. It takes us a lot longer. Yeah, but as a guy, you don't want to be on the other side of that, that the girl has to kind of wait on you because you're still doing your hair, brushing your teeth, getting ready. As a girl, it's really, really uncomfortable to be waiting for a guy. You know, it's like 6 o'clock, and it's like 6 o'clock. It's like, where is he? And you want to be as a guy that's you know, shows that you're... You're really, you know, looking forward to it, and right. obviously you've prioritized it as well, and so you're just going to be on time. So, tip number one: don't be on be time. <clears throat> two ways to say the same thing. Number two: plan the date. It's fun if the guy plans the date because obviously, again, you're the one that's asking the girl out. You're the ones that showing it that is showing his initiative totally and so plan a date that's fun and obviously tip there is that have it be an activity i wouldn't start the first date just with a dinner just because then there's going to be a lot of just sitting down and chatting <laughs> which is going to be fun it's a lot easier if you actually plan an activity just so plan something fun that you're both doing something you don't have to you just sit in front of each other and just look at each other and just like <laughs> talk um, Amidst all the awkward tension. Exactly, which again is great. But uh, you know, plan something fun. Obviously, there's the classic, classic ones. Classic ones. You know, go bowling. Go to mini play golfing. Mini golfing. Go. You go know. to a class. Go to a baseball game. Like all these like different kinds of fun activities where you can watch something or you can do something while you talk and get to know each other. Exactly. Yeah. Just have it be a little airy. Have it be fun. Right. I think if you ask a girl, would they enjoy more just going to a plain old restaurant or would they enjoy the guy preparing a picnic and bringing it along? what would you choose? I would totally choose the picnic. And that's what the girlfriends will be chatting about to each other. Oh my gosh, you made me. You know, a picnic and a thing, blah, blah. So there's it's things so as well where you don't have to spend much money and it's actually, in the end of the day, it'll, you know, just is a lot it's more, more fun. open it's more and light. free and airy. Yeah, so try to go with that. Then that will also help you stay within, you know, your budget, you know, whatever budget that you're on. Yeah. Tip number three. Mm -hmm. Don't be on your phone. Don't be on your phone. This obviously is one of the for guys, guys and girls. girls. Guys and totally. girls, yeah. You want to be showing your girl that you're there and that she's the priority in this yes. time frame that you've set aside for her. So even though that, you know, other things may be going on, you know, a baseball or football game may be going on the back really and you're checking the point. scores, you know, which is great. Then what you do is you set, when you go to the dinner, you set her like underneath the TV so you can look at her, <laughs> but like you peek up at the scores. <laughs> Um, but no, but I'm so sure <laughs> I've done that before. If the emails exactly. really can't wait, that. then you need to rearrange your life because then you'll be 60 years old and you'll have missed all the exactly. opportunities. Tip number four. Be a gentleman, open doors, pull out chairs. Yes. It's I, such an old fashioned thing and some people are like, no. That's true. Some people like, some people don't like it. I think a girl definitely enjoys that. From my perspective, some girls don't. That's yeah. fine as well. So you kind of feel do. that But I do. As out. a woman, I just speak, yeah. uh, I do. And uh, another tip aside of that is, it's always good if you hold the door open for your lady to walk in and you see another, you know, a lady come through and all that. You can even hold the door open for them as well because then you're not, you're just like, not just doing it specifically for her, but that's like how you actually operate. And so do that in your everyday life, obviously as well. This isn't just like do this on the date. Yeah, but just only on the date. Yeah, exactly. Tip number five. The payment thing. We already talked about this in, in the, the other girls one. girls one. Yeah, so. <clears throat> the paying situation. Yeah, so again, everybody has different opinions on those. Yes. As a guy, I think, you know, man up, pay for the date, you know, <laughs> save a little money. And it shows that you, you know, you want to prioritize her and you want to treat her. And you can say as well, hey, this is the first date and I just want to treat you. And then on dates two and three, we can go 50 50, we can go Dutch, we can do whatever you want. But I just want to treat you on this first date. I plan in advance something that you can't afford so you can confidently say, like, no, I would really like to treat you. If she doesn't want that, of course, don't be weird about it. Have her pay. <laughs> right. Have her, you know, don't go to back and forth. Oh, no, I insist. Blah, blah, blah. Just say, okay, oh, then you, if she really, you know, she's like, no, I really want to, you know, pitch in. Then say, okay, great, let's do that. You know, and then you can say, they'll save you more money to take you out the next time. So. Ding, ding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't be weird about it. If she really wants to pay, like, allow her to do that. Don't be like, no, I'm the man here and I gotta do this. It's no, really exactly, important. Yeah. You know, if she really says, no, I would really, you know, I would really like to pay or I insist, 
I think it's really important to let her do that. Number six, we told the girls about this. Prepare thoughtful questions in advance. Think about, you know, wherever you met her or the things that you already know about her and start thinking about some questions that you think, like that you would really genuinely like to know about her. I think that's really important to just think about some of those things in advance um, yeah. so that you could like look like you're interested. I would hope that you are when you're on the first date, but so that you, um, you know, can get to know her and the things that you want to know about her. Sometimes first date don't go as planned and they get a little awkward and they actually, you know, it runs a little dry. Then yeah, you just have you know, something extra to, to fall back on. Ask things that, the questions that are outside of the general norm that kind of throw her in front of a loop in a sense, in a good way as well, that kind of shows more of her actual character, how she would answer certain things, I think. Totally. You know what I mean? Instead of just your standard question that everybody has answered however many times every time you go on a date, right. you know? What's your job? What do you like? What is this? What is that? Which are fun questions. But, Which are fun questions, yeah. but think about fun ones. And men, don't be afraid to just have fun and make jokes and be light. I feel like a lot of times on dates, like men get really, really nervous. And guess what? That's totally normal. But I think it's really important to just be like, be light and have fun. Whenever I see um, like a like a TV show or anything like that, and it's about dating. Yeah. Um, the general thing women will say, and my, what I've seen yeah. is like, oh, I just want a guy that makes me laugh. You know, that's, that's true. what they'll say. I just want a guy that, you know, it can make me laugh or is funny, you know, or things like that. So. Tip with that, prep some funny jokes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like have a couple of funny things. Not, again, you have to be something that you're not. But right, like, yeah, don't be good. disingenuous. Yeah, but it like lightens up the atmosphere, you know, get a couple giggles going. Right, it's okay to be silly. Tip number seven. Seven. Wear a nice and polished outfit, meaning you don't have to go over the top, wear a three piece suit and a bow tie, which you can, and we know some people that do. We do, shout out Steven. <laughs> Wear something that actually, you know, sets you apart that you're not just coming out of class or you're not just coming out of your job or whatever it is, but you actually put some thought Effort. behind your outfit as well. And then the main thing I've experienced, and then Emily actually confirmed that with me, is that get yourself a nice pair of shoes. A shoes, which I think really make an outfit, you know, in Dana's general. Dana's really into shoes, which is a good thing. Women actually really appreciate that as well. Oh gosh, shoes for women, guys, are so important. Not in a weirdly worldly materialistic way, but really, I feel like you can tell a lot about a guy by the shoes that he's wearing, on a date especially. With that being said, get yourself a nice pair of shoes that are not, you know, your general runners or, you know, the American tennis shoes that I was <laughs> <Daniel> <laughs> It's funny that like American men, you'll see like mostly American dads, right? Yeah, with just for like sure. these jeans that don't really fit well with big white sneakers on the bottom. Yeah, that's if you're obviously from the Netherlands, you would literally you would say you can pick out the people walking by that are tourists and you can say which country that they're from and the Americans would always have white baggy jeans and like white tennis shirts. Wide baggy <laughs> jeans. <laughs> and white tennis shoes. And on white tennis shirts. No, I'm like, you should cut the, do that again. No. So it's funny because Emily actually still remembers the shoes that I was wearing on the first day I met her and then uh, took her around and whatnot. Yeah. And those were just like like gray, like they had like a po like a pointy shoe, you know what I mean? Like, like pizza a, shoes. That's how you think. Like American, like American guys like have these big round like flunky shoes. <laughs> but European men, like they have, you have pointy shoes. Yeah, uh, yeah. So and they're and they're nothing like like special. And if you don't know what a good shoe is, ask some of the trusted women in your life and invest. Yeah, like you can invest in a pair of date shoes. These are the nice mm -hmm. shoes that I invested in when I take a girl on a date. Yeah, and you can use them when you have a presentation at work. You can use them when you're you know going into meetings. You can use them when you're going to church. Obviously not on the hike. If you're on the hike, wear the runners. But this is about like if you're going to yeah. you know the dinner. Or even you know even to a coffee. Are the shoes that you that you met me in downstairs? I still have them somewhere. Yeah. These are actually the shoes I wore six or whatever years ago when I picked Emily up. So you see, the they're really worn now. But they're just not your general American shoe, I guess. Yeah, those are European for sure. <clears throat> then again, these are just normal shoes. Shoes you wear every single day that are not your typical Give runners them a good look. or things. Men need to see these things. I don't think they need to see them. Yes, they do. These are Clark's Desert Boots. So this, again, normal shoes. They're not expensive. Then if you want to go on a date, get something that's kind of out of the ordinary, like this. Get something that's different, that's, it doesn't have to be anything like this. Love this. But this is like just a boot, you know what I mean? Yes. That you can wear underneath some nice jeans and when yeah. Daniel wears these shoes, I like melt into a million pieces. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, you're wearing your special shoes. And that's the thing. They're not even that special. 
But to me, they are, because I'm like, oh my gosh, they, uh, like he looks so nice and put together. A nice shoe goes a long way, gentlemen. That is all I can say. Girls, if you agree with me, holla. That was your shoe tutorial, moving rapidly along. Tip number eight. eight. Nice high note. Thank Wear you. a nice cologne. Wear something that actually, again, as well, is not something that you wear every day to work or whenever you're, you know, going out your, you know, everyday life. But or like some a middle school boy would wear. Yeah. So don't wear, you know, your general. Just spray yourself with deodorant everywhere and like, you know, have that aroma just. You don't want that. Swivel around. No. Um, that being said, obviously wear deodorant as well, but <laughs> spray on. What I like to do is just like one spray in the neck and then about two sprays like up in the air above you and then you like go underneath it. <laughs> and it like comes down on you. Okay. And then it's not like overbearing because that those two in the air, they like kind of just like, they kind of like go and just Magically settle in. Exactly. Is there like a sound like ding? Yeah, and then like angels just come from heaven. Um, that but was Daniel has some cologne tips 101. Because when you meet her, you like maybe will give her a hug and then when she goes in for the hug, she smells that neck and she's like, this guy's doing it. This the lot whiff is very important. <clears throat> Do you have any final tips for guys? Cologne. You <clears throat> can smell it now. Yes, but <laughs> <laughs> I guess just final tip from a guy's perspective, right? You don't want to go all in, all overboard on the first date. And I guess that goes for the ladies as That's well. That's true. Don't take it too seriously, I guess, in a sense is what I mean. It's a first date. It's supposed to be fun. Enjoy that, you know, those little awkward, you know, um, the things that go on and yeah. enjoy the date and have it be light and airy and don't think, oh my gosh, you know, this is, you I'm know. I'm gonna have, have to propose uh, tomorrow. Yeah, or anything crazy. You don't have to bear everything. You don't have to tell your life story from start to end. You don't have to do all that. Obviously, you wanna be genuine, you wanna be open, right. you wanna have fun. Be real. Uh, but just, just keep it light and actually ask the girl out on the date beforehand on the phone as an extra tip that maybe we should have said earlier, but you know, actually verbally say those words, hey, I wanna take you out on a date. That, number one, sets a standard that you guys are actually having a date. How often now do you hear like, yeah, I'm seeing this guy, but I'm not really sure if it's a date or not, but we're going out and I don't know. And for the guy, it's easier as well, because then you're kind of like, okay, I don't know if this is a date or not. We can kind of see, but I don't really want to call it a date, but maybe she doesn't want to call it, so I'm just not going to call it. So what you should do is you should say, hey, listen, I want to take you out on a date. Actually say the word date. I would love to plan something. I would love to just set something up, take you out, and you know, just have a fun little date and see how it goes. Verbally say it to her in person or call her on the phone about it. And she might say yes and great. And if she says no, that's yeah, fine too. But then too. you actually know where you stand and that also gives you an incentive to really have it be a date, you know, and not be like, well, we're kind of not really, maybe we're not sure. And that also it comes back to being confident, being confident in yourself, being confident in, hey, listen, you want to just take a leap, you know, go out on a limb and just say, hey, listen, I want to take you out on a date. Um, that doesn't mean we're gonna get married. That just means I think it'll be fun to spend more time with you and get to know you better. So I don't think you say the married thing, but that's true. How does the, you know this Saturday night sound? Yeah, and go yeah. out and have fun. Yes, have fun. Enjoy yourself. So those are our best first date tips for guys. You can listen to them, or you don't have to if you don't want to. But that's what we came up with. Keep it real. Have fun. Go on dates. Worst thing that happened, she says no, and you're like, okay, you're not my future wife. Let me move on till I find her. Amen, hallelujah to that, my dear. Bye. All right. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.